All right, guys. So what up, guys? So welcome back. It's Krypton HD, and we're back for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And so, as you guys know, the early access event is available today, October first, as I'm recording this. And definitely, as promised, I was gonna cover the full walkthrough. So I really don't know which one to pick. Whether I should go advanced or extreme. I don't know. So a simulation mode, a realistic scenario for remarkably tactical players. We also have the advanced one, which is strategic for advanced player. Enemy has more precise and deadly because health region will take longer to start. But I don't want to go too extreme on this one, but I'm going to take advanced definitely and leave off regular or arcade right there. So definitely if, if you guys enjoy this video, keep on smashing a like button. Also consider subscribing to this channel for more amazing content. And if you could get to like five or five to 10 likes, that would be really awesome for the support as well. But yeah, we could advance and I'll see you guys right now. Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building a world. Alright guys, so we're finally here. Um super excited about this release of of, uh, of this game definitely. But here was a character customization, so I can remember in the open beta no in the beta, the alpha or the okay, I really don't know how to call it, but the very first beta that we had I played as a male, so today I'm gonna switch. I'm going to pick a female character. Let me see. Alright guys, so this is gonna be the final character for this walkthrough, so Definitely, if you guys enjoy it, keep on smash that like button. If you want to see more of this type of content, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And with that being said, now let's officially start. I guess I really love the amount of detail. So if you guys are wondering about the specs, so I'm in a GTX 1060, uh, six gigabyte version, uh, Intel Core i7, uh, to base of 2.8 gigahertz. I mean, not the most powerful, but definitely no. can handle, can handle this game. No, no. No, that, that that hurts definitely. Uh. 
Right here we are finally. Uh, guys, so just before we start, just need to put it on post to check some of the graphical presets. All right, guys, so we're back. Definitely, I just quickly changing a few graphical presets. I think now it's much better. Okay, so I'm assuming this might be a bug from day one, so we can see the bandage as she's uh, hitting her wounds right there. Oh, there is night appeared for the leg ones though. <laughs> All right, cool. I don't know about you, but it's actually pretty dark here. All right, so what's our main objective again? Yeah, so we need to search for the survivors. So we need to investigate the crash site, and then yeah, that's just about it for now. So I'm going to do my best to be as tactical as possible, if that can be said even. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, but I'm also not going to be, you know, try to rush or try to play too slowly, so you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Who the hell is this? Oh, I don't think this guy is observing us. Alright, that's one less. Yeah, no, this wasn't really necessary. Let's just finish him off with the <laughs> with the pistol right there. But you know what? Just want to see the melee. It's fun. Can I climb this? Oh yeah. I actually never climbed this ladder before, uh, even in the B tunnel. Ah, right, but there's nothing in here. Alright, so this normally should give us a primary. Right there? Yeah. That's the ASR I think. Yes. Shit. Level seven. My soldiers. Alright, so that's one of the three crash sites we need to observe, so the second one isn't far at all. But let me just, uh, I don't think I'm gonna cut edit, even though I'm sure some of you have already seen this. Uh, at least this specific part of the walkthrough, but I'm still gonna show it. I mean, it's a full release now, so, <laughs> you know, why not? Alright, so that's one, that's two. Shit. 
Yeah, that was a bit sloppy, definitely. Not the cleanest uh, approach that I've had so far, but hey, you get this thing done, right? Okay, so what can I remember from here? I, I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything as well, you know, in terms of looting. I'm out in something interesting without knowing. <laughs> Is there anything in here? Nope. Anything up there? I don't think so, but let me explore as well. Alright, so we're not that far from retaining a weapon cache. Let me see, there's one, two, there should be four of them normally. That's the third one. Uh, my screen is a bit dark, so I'm having a hard time identifying the fourth one. But that's okay. Alright, so let's finally do the level 1 and we get a vest at level 10. <laughs> Things you took us out. <laughs> Alright, so now we're pushing the second crash site. This is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! Alright, so as you can see, that's what happened uh, to the second chopper right there. So enemy level is 150, definitely. I cannot do this. Oh, hopefully I'm not going to fall. There we go. Alright, let me also check the tutorials. Alright, so definitely enemy level. I mean, the level increases as you get better gear and all. So at the moment I'm at level 3, but as soon as I get better gear, it's eventually going to start to increase as well.
Alright, so from here there's no risk that they see us. So we can freely check our, our second weapon cache of the game. Alright, there we go, that's uh, G28. So I'm gonna equip my secondary, so that's gonna be my designated uh, marksman rifle right there. Uh, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just have to approach it. Mayday, Mayday, this is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. <laughs> Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go seat out. Alright, so all three crash sites have been investigated, so our next objective is definitely to follow the train that leads to the leading to the Twin Falls mountain. So again, I'm not gonna cut edit it. I just wanna show you at least like everything from how it happens from the beginning until we get to eventually uh, that specific place there for those that haven't had haven't had the opportunity to experience the beta already. <laughs> I'm not gonna be spoiling anything. No, 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 not the passenger. Come on. Alright, so I'm not gonna worry too much about them. <laughs> Even though there was a weapon cache right there, but... Yeah, there's not too much I can do about it. Oh boy. Almost, almost. <laughs> I think my driving skills are definitely are definitely good. Let me get I'm assuming it's the right turn here. Oh boy. Hey, that was badass, I won't even lie. <laughs> Stop right there! Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. Now what's Erewhon? A cave. So we call it. Get in. Alright, so here we are inside Erewhon. So eventually this is the hub where you know everyone meets in there or uh, for multiplayer ghost wars and all that. What is this place? 
So look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't you go on holiday on a place like this? <laughs> Are you boys alright or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? Our mind's blown. Yeah. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, her choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell? Some kind of military takeover. Sentinel. Military contractors, they put this place under martial law. Using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Skaltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Well, where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, Cassiar wounded? Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Alright, so just like that, we're in ear one. So attachment localized. So I have an LMG, com LMG compensator. I'm not going to pin it right there to my objectives. But here we also have what? Okay, so we got a blueprint as well for another gun, and then we have a few investigation to do. Where do Helmsteader come from? So the way we resolve it is by asking, I mean, having conversation with some of the NPCs and stuff. Yeah. So what do we have? We also have Lieutenant Walker. Avenge the bra. Okay. <laughs> wow. It recalls level 150. Talk to the wounded survivor. So that's the objective that I have to do right now. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. 
But Weaver... You just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the Wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. <sighs> ah, so very first mission. Wait, redeem reward, okay. Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so this is just a quick uh, overview on how to use the objective board. Find the way off the island. So that's a new objective right there. Do I get some skill points as well? Yeah, I do have one. But I'm not going to unlock anything for now. I also have a few investigation a day. Is Maida still alive? Alright, so I'm just showing a bit of the tutorial and all. So yeah, if you guys want to read, definitely put a pause button right there, and so that so that you have the time eventually. Alright, so find a way off the island. How's your pal? Hold it up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves. Used to be Skeltec's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? Know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mats. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. <laughs> <laughs> 